Okay, so we just did iter, but now here we there's another object called jit.spill, and that's going to let us actually see the pixel values in a, in a JIT matrix as individual numbered boxes that we can use to control things. So um, when I hit the button to get my noise, my three by three noise matrix here, it's going also going down here to, it's going to the JIT.p window, but it's also going to JIT.spill. Spill just takes whatever information is in the JIT matrix and spills it out into a list of numbers. And you can see the list here as a message box. So it's one long, string so it unrolls the entire matrix as a string so it goes one two three four five six seven eight nine and just spills those numbers out here uh, we can use the unpack object to then unpack those nine cells and and you can see them as individual numbers but it, but now they're actual just integers that you can use right. to control anything and then uh, using the ZL objects, which we will talk about at length later on, ZL is a list processor. It lets you just sort of pluck out one element from a list. So uh, ZL nth one is going to pick out the first element in that list, which is in this case 157. So, um, you know, again, this is all just to show that images in Max are actually matrices, and matrices are just grids of numbers. So it's kind of a low-level, nerdy way of looking at imagery, right. but uh, it's good. It help, it's helpful to understand um, that this is what's actually going on behind the scenes. So, all right. For sure. It's, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah.